Yo, what's good? What's poppin', y'all? This is your raw vegan homeboy. What's going on? What's poppin'? What's good? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna make a video um, <clears throat> about how to make your own almond milk. Um, I, I, I just got through watching a few videos on how to make your own almond milk, and I'm gonna take what I learned from those videos <clears throat> and put my own little twist to it, all right? Um, I already made I kind of experimented today with it and um, <clears throat> I think I did it right I'm not sure I mean to me it tastes good but you know anything that that you personally cook or prepare it tastes good to you but when you give it to other people they may tell you it tastes like shit so um yo man let's let me show you what I did uh, I took some almonds like this okay I think I took like a cup I don't know it was uh, I put it like in a mason jar like this and I think I filled it up to about right there um, on the video it said do one cup and one cup is about right here there's a line you can't really see it but um, that's the one cup line right here and I, I think I filled it up a little bit past that so what I did um, I let them soak overnight for like it said to let them soak let, let your almonds soak for like 24 to 48 hours hell I did it for three days you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, it was still good. I had the almonds in the refrigerator. And uh, what I did, now, the recipe called for a high speed, speed uh, excuse me, a high speed blender. I don't have a high speed blender. I have a cheap $30 blender from Walmart, and that's what I use, okay? I mean, hey, I don't have the money to be getting high speed blenders and all this shit, you know, hey. I'm just, hey, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it real. I try to keep it real with these videos because I know some people out there, just like myself, can't afford to get the equipment to prepare some of these dishes, or you know. So I keep it real. You know, I hey, go to Walmart, put one on layaway. You know, do what you got to do. Put that shit on layaway. It's all good. You know, it's all good. As a matter of fact, that's the, oh, that's no, that's not. Never mind. Um, but yeah, man, what I did, I put it in this high speed blender right here. As you can see, I still have some remnants in here. Um. That's just uh, the pulp or whatever. Um, but I did get most of the milk out, you know. And um, I let it blend for like, mm, I think like, what, a minute and a half. I think most of the recipe said let it blend for like two minutes on high speed. So that's what I, I attempted to do that. I don't know how long I blended it for, but hell, I did what I can do. But when I make the video, I'm gonna have everything in order, okay? I'm just making this video to let y'all know that I made it, I experimented with it. So when I do my other video, when I show you how to do it, everything's gonna be in line, everything's gonna be in check, in order, and good to go, all right? So um, let me show you this, okay. These are some of my soaked almonds. Um, as you can see, you can't, I don't know if you can really tell, but they are kind of swole. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, can't really put one through the camera phone so you can see it or feel it or whatever. But I'm gonna use these for next time. And um, I did let the I did let these soak. I did let those almonds soak for like three days. Okay. Now, next step I did. Um. I use alkaline water, as you can see. You can use basically any type of water you want to use, but what I did, I just used the alkaline water, you know, because I wanted I wanted the water to have good quality, you know. And since the almonds soak up the water, if you use some cheap, cheap ass water that has uh, fluoride in it, you know, those almonds are gonna soak up the fluoride, you know. So. You want to try and use alkaline water if you can. If you can't, that's fine. You know, do what you got to do. All right. I'm just trying to show you how to make the milk or whatever. All right. All right. So I did all that. After that, I got my strainer right here. And then I uh, put it, I put the strainer on top of this. Now, what you're supposed to do is take, take a cheesecloth like this and put it in the strainer and then pour it in there. But I was like, fuck it, I didn't feel like doing all that. So I just, you know, was, some of the pulp is still in here, as a matter of fact, but I just poured that bitch up in there and I uh, got the milk. You know, I just did what I had to do. If, I mean, 
If it's chunky almond milk, it's chunky almond milk. That's how I see it. I don't give a shit. I mean, it's good. It's all going down here anyway. So, you know what I mean? But like I said, when I make my other video, I'll try to explain it a little bit more better and go in depth. All right. But anyway, after I did all that, this is my finished product right here. Um, good almond milk. Um, you can sweeten it by adding some uh, vanilla, a little touch of cinnamon, cacao powder. Uh, some people would like to use other things. I like to use uh, stevia extract. Some people might want to use agave nectar, you know. But uh, yeah, man, this is good for like two or three days. So, you know, um, I know one thing, if I don't, if I don't have, uh, if I'm out of almond milk, I can always go to a local convenience store or, you know, and just get me a pack of almonds and soak them and the next day I can just make my almond milk, you know? But, but yeah, man, that's about it. But I will make a video on how to uh, make the almond milk, okay? And it tastes pretty good though, y'all. It tastes pretty good. Let me do a little taste test. I know you can't really taste it as I'm tasting it, but you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do another taste test. As a matter of fact, we're gonna do a little taste test. I'm gonna compare my little, my almond milk and two, to the other almond milk okay now this is this is mine okay it's nutty surprisingly i don't taste any chunks in here mm. but it's fresh though it's real fresh it's i don't taste any preservatives or anything i mean to in the sweet the almonds uh, kind of give it that natural uh, sweetness. Um, I didn't put anything in here. Now I did put some stevia extract in the first one that I made just to see how it would taste, you know. But it really doesn't need any uh, sweetener. I mean, to me, it really doesn't need any sweetener. I mean, it's 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 pretty damn good. Now I also saw on the video that if you don't have anything else, you can take like one or two dates. Put them in your blender, and you know, and and uh, this this is a natural sweetener, so that'll give it a little bit more uh, flavor. I mean, don't overdo it because you know you don't want to add too much sugar. But yeah, you can do that. Now I'm gonna taste uh, the other almond milk and try to compare it. But um, I haven't opened this one yet, but. This one here is a little bit more, it's, it's a little bit more light. It's, 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 when you make fresh almond milk, it's, it tastes lighter. I know I'm, I'm only doing this for the first time and I'm talking like I did it for like 89 years, but this actually tastes lighter. It tastes lighter and it tastes fresh, you know, more fresh. Mm. It's good. Now this one here, this is Trader Joe's, as you can see, Trader Joe's. Wait a minute, hell no, that's coconut milk, the fuck? Oh, no, you know what? I didn't even get almond milk. I got all coconut milk. So I can't really do a taste test, my bad. But anyway, this does taste lighter. I mean, I would love to do this like all the time, but I can get me a big old jug like this and fill it up. And um, that's what I'm gonna start doing now. I'm probably gonna have a whole I have a whole bunch of mason jars so jars like this. So what I'm gonna do is probably make two or three uh, things of almond milk and just try to use that instead of buying it. You know, it's I mean it, it tastes good. It, it's naturally sweet, naturally uh, creamy, and it, it's kind of nutty, but it, that's good though. You know. But uh, anyway, I just want to make a video and uh, make that video and let you know I'm going to start doing more raw vegan recipes, all right? And I will do this sometime this week. Raw Vegan Homeboy signing off. Stay healthy. Stay well. Shalom. All praises to the Most High.